play candy. Hi guys, welcome back to Play Candy. So can you remember these customs that we made? Well, this is what we're going to be getting up to today. Can you guess who they are? That's right guys, today we are going to be making some frozen customs. So we need to open up some crybabies to see if I've got some duplicates first. We have got two Ellie's. I already have an Ellie. And here we have a Phoebe frog. We already have a Phoebe frog and I've already turned Phoebe into my flower custom. And over here we have got, oh wait, this is a new one to me. This is Gigi Giraffe. She's a wave one, but I didn't have her, so she will play, be part of my collection. And I've got Lady here. She's a duplicate. And one more Nala. Okay, so today I'm going to be turning Phoebe into Elsa. Nala is going to become Anna. And Lady is going to become Olaf. So I've bought loads of fun little craft stickers and accessories and all sorts of things. I've also got some beautiful Swarovski crystals and they're going to be embellishing all of my dolls. So let's begin guys. If you don't want to watch this bit, turn away now. Okay, I just have to remove the little lumps and bumps on my crybaby's head to smooth them over. And once I have done that, I'm going to hot glue the openings shut and then I will use my art texture paste to smooth the heads over. Once they're all dried, um, I can give them a sanding, but they also need a coat of white paint to um, lighten the colors of their baby grows. So all of them are gonna get at least a couple of coats of white paint to whiten them out and I'm going to just sand down their heads, smooth them over a little bit. There we go. Three dolls ready to be painted. I'm going to begin with Olaf. He's going to have this lovely pearlescent white paint. Now this is the special part. I've got some beautiful glitters and I'm going to sprinkle this over Olaf's body to make him a beautiful snowy pearly color. And while the paint is still wet, all the glitter sticks to the paint. And now the head, doing the same thing. And this is Olaf so far. Let's get started on Anna. She needs that lovely blue for her skirt, the purple for her top, and I've had to mix up a couple of blues to make the blue for her shirt. Look at that lovely blue. That's like a perfect match for Anna's skirt. And I'm going to do the same thing with the glitter. I have a lovely blue glitter. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to give her some black boots and we're going to glitter those too. And her second boot, nice bit of sparkle. Gorgeous! Okay, now she needs her black little corsety top. Carefully paint this on into the right shape. give that a bit of sparkle too. Okay, now let's start with our Elsa. She has lighter color sleeves and hood. So I'm going to put that on first with this lighter beautiful blue glitter. And that goes all the way over her head as well. So I'm going to begin with her hood. And now we need to do her body. Now Elsa's dress is this darker blue. So I'm going to put a deeper blue and a deeper blue glitter over. And then I'm going to do the same thing for both of her legs. I just put loads on and then just shake the excess off. Now I'm going back to Anna. I'm doing her hood in the same color as Anna's cape because Anna has this beautiful maroony colour cape 
and the same thing with the glitter. I'll do that all over her hood and I'm going to take it onto her shoulders as well because Anna's cape goes over her shoulders. Okay, so there are our three babies. They're all painted and glittered. Now let's begin work on their faces. So Olaf has these dark eyes, so I think my crybaby needs to at least have brown eyes. This is quite um, a see-through paint, so I'm going to need a few coats. And whilst that's drying, I am going to give Olaf some black hair. The reason for this is because Olaf doesn't have hair, but he does have those really dark twigs on his head and dark eyes, so I think he would have dark hair. There we go, and now let's begin with his eyebrows. And let's give him some really dark pupils to make those eyes stand out. done those we need to get those little eyelashes looking nice and black too so we'll paint those in black and the other side and I'm going to give another dark coat of brown to the eyes once they've been done these little eye reflections really make the eyes stand out beautifully look at that Okay, there we go, there's Olaf's eyes, ready? Let's begin with Elsa. Elsa does have beautiful blue eyes and our doll already has blue eyes but I'm just gonna go over it in the same paint that I painted her body. Okay guys, and Elsa has lovely dark eyelashes and eyebrows actually, so I'm going to give those a coat of black as well. And I'm going to Again with this doll, colour in the pupils of her eyes in black because it really makes the eyes stand out. I'm colouring over the little reflections but that's okay, I'll paint them in again. There we go, once that's done I'm going to do her eyebrows. I actually mixed a bit of brown in with the black so that they're not completely black but they are a little bit darker. side okay and once I've done this I'm going to start putting the white reflections into her eyes again there we go and now I'm going to start with her hair I loved doing this because this really turns this doll into Elsa I've mixed a really pale yellow in with some white because Elsa's hair isn't quite white but it definitely isn't yellow, it needs a couple of coats and our, um, Elsa also has really dark lips so I'm using the same colour that I used for Anna's cape and I'm going to now give the hair a second coat and once I've done that I am going to use a little bit of yellow glitter but only a tiny bit because I don't want to turn this hair yellow and just sprinkle a tiny little bit of that into her Gorgeous! Doesn't she look so cute? Okay, these are our two dolls so far, Olaf and Elsa. And now let's get to work on Anna's hair. So I've mixed all sorts in her hair. There's brown, there is orange, there's white. But she needs to have her little blonde streak through her hair there, of course. And then we're going to begin darkening up her eyebrows as well. And of course, Anna has blue eyes, so we're going to need a few coats of this to cover up these little brown eyes. So I have mixed up a few blues in with some white and I've really layered this on a few times because I don't want to see the brown through the eyes. Um, I've edited the, down this already, but um, after layering on the blue, I did the black pupils and her black eyelashes and I'm now moving on to her lips. She has a pale pink lipstick compared to Elsa's darker lipstick. 
and I am also going to put her little reflections into both eyes. And there we have it. I'm moving back onto Olaf now. So Olaf has got his little orange carrot nose. So we needed some orange to make our little Olaf pop a little bit. So I found this lovely glittery ribbon and I thought it would be a great accessory for Olaf's little ankle bracelets here. And if we look at Olaf's picture, he also has his three little tummy accessories there. So I'm using these black Swarovski crystals a bit of sparkle and to make Olaf look a bit special and he really does look how cute okay on to Elsa we found this lovely silver snowflake I'm going to attach it to some rubber elastic clear band and use it as a necklace and I'm going to pop some iridescent beads onto her feet there we are gorgeous as well and now this is the really special part. I absolutely, this is probably my favorite part. I found these beautiful flower crystal beads and I thought they would make a beautiful head, head decoration for Elsa. And they really, really do. Look how beautiful, they're so twinkly and sparkly. Elsa looks so special but she needs one more thing I've got this little organza bag I've cut a little shape out of it and this is going to be Elsa's little cape so there we go you can barely see her little cape but it's there now onto Anna I have stuck some glittery pink ribbon around her ankles and I've also embellished her corset a little bit there but I'm now going to use these pink Swarovski crystals to decorate her top. I love using Swarovski crystals, they're so special. And a little bit of my relief paste to just decorate that corset a little bit more. And we need to make Anna look a little bit special too. So I've got these teeny tiny Swarovski crystals and I'm giving her a little headdress made purely of Swarovski as well. So there she is. Okay guys, I am done. I have added one more little thing to my Olaf. You will notice some little leather thong bracelet um, material I had as the twigs for Olaf's head. But I'm just gonna show you all three of my dolls up close now. Here is our Olaf, freshly painted with his black hair, his little hair twigs, his brown eyes, his little Swarovski buttons and his orange trim and his lovely snowy glittery body. He's so cute. Then our Anna, look at her, I absolutely love the colours of Anna's hood and of her little blue dress. Her hair with a streak through it and her Swarovski crystals in her hood. Her Swarovski pink crystals for her corset and that lovely deep blue for her little bodysuit. And probably my favourite, Elsa, with her beautiful, beautiful headdress. Those beautiful little flower crystals and her lovely little snowflake necklace pendant and of course her lovely cape. she is I love her guys there are my three customs I loved making these I really hope you've enjoyed watching them there are my three older ones I'll put a link card at the end of this video if you want to have a look at that video but for now I'm going to lead you out with a few photographs of my new customs there they are I would love it if you would leave me a note in the comments and tell me which one of the three your favorite frozen doll was while I was making these dolls Anna was my favorite throughout because I just love all the colors of her hood and her little blue skirt um, but as we went along 
course I love Olaf as well but as we went along I just love the way that Elsa turned out with her little headdress and her hair color and her little frozen snowflake pendant so anyway let me know in the comments which one your favorite was and also let me know if there are any customs you would like to see me make because I have got more duplicates. I will definitely be making some more of these. I have some ideas in mind already, but I'd love to know what you would like to see. Here are all my customs together. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already done so. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it, guys. Lots of love for now. Bye-bye.